There's right. only one way it can go, and that's to go that way. And you may remember yesterday we had geologist Dr. Pat Abbott on set to analyze the scene. Today he went down to the bluffs with 10 News reporter Rena Nakano to assess the damage in person. Rena's live in Encinitas. There was something that he saw there, Rena, that he didn't notice before. Yeah, that's right. Yesterday he was looking at all of this damage here through the eyes of Sky 10. But today we got a lot closer and he told me that he noticed that there's a lot of other spots along this same stretch of beach that are just as dangerous. As the Lucadia community reels in the tragedy at the bluffs, geologist Dr. Pat Abbott studies the deadly rocks. Oh, that salt, that's the old part. Here's the fresh part right here. Shoes off and in high tide, he explains the cause of Friday's event that killed three locals. The waves come up and beat against the cliffs. Gravity pulls on those cliffs day after day, year after year, and you just gradually weaken until one day it just can't take it anymore and it falls down. The waves nibble away the rock at the bottom and the water for the ice plants on the top brown softer sediment weaken the formation. All that does really is add more weight to the cliff and of course, the more weight that's there, then the stronger the pull of gravity is. But as we walked along the beach, we found many more problem spots. Just feet north of Friday's fallen rock, there's a formation of what looks to be a small cave. With no bottom support, the top will eventually break off. When that falls, that's the same thing as having a cement wall fall on you. A few more feet north, another obvious sign of danger. This strong cliff here, this rock mass now is detached from the main rock. A vertical fracture that's completely separated, a sign that it's ready to fall. Exactly when, only Mother Nature will know. So the next time you're deciding on where to put down your beach towel, remember to study the rock behind you. Look for fractured or overhanging rock masses and don't go near those. Now, Dr. Abbott also says that the visible fractures on the bottom of the bluffs are far away enough to the top where you see those homes are, so he believes that they should be no danger. Reporting live in Encinitas tonight, I'm Rena Nakano. Some really good information. Rena, thank you.